Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Symphonics channel. Today we're building the high grade build fighters, the Wing Gundam Zero Hono. So, if you've been watching my uh, unboxing video before, you will know that I bought this suit. Uh, this suit is from the uh, side story, the Gundam Build Fighters Hono. And okay, before I start the video, I just want to say though, if you guys are actually watching my videos, you can click at the description and you will find out every time I post a video of a gunplay. I will write all the gunplay information about the weapons, how the mobile suit was made, and uh, music at the time, uh, building time for in my description. So if you are actually carefully watching my video, you should know that. And and I recommend you, if you don't know about the where the gunplay came from or where that mobile suit came from, click on my description or under the video and you can see all the information yes alright back to topic box art um, really good it's just it's just um, doesn't give me a lot of feeling of flame it should probably give me some kind of flame feeling because it's the theme is fire right side we got some actions and we got a we got the size well it's 30 bucks and we got the uh, description as well so um, and I'm not gonna read it so when we open it we'll see a we'll see stickers the new parts and the rival it seems like the rival um, and the other runner from the uh, original wing Gundam so next we got some leg unit the shield the beam saber and some new part as well I think it's the new part I think and we'll have a clear part for the eye camera. We got the um, probably uh, shoulders part, shoulder joint, and we have another runner. Next, we'll have a clear part for all the clear part um, on the example, and we got a polycap as well. Next, open it, flip it, wing Gundam Zero Homo. We got the customized plan here, the transformation process and we have the whole instruction, instruction manual here and we also have the weapons and one point technique at the back and the color die and the color guide as well and you know I'm not going to talk too much and I'll see you at the review
welcome back to the review of the Wing Gundam Zero Hono. So this is the finishing. I really need to say though, this kit brings me a lot of fun and I really liking the design so far. It's the overall design give me a feeling of um, combining the Phoenix and the Flame. So uh, I will show you later what I mean. But overall, the, the clear part on the mobile suit gives me a feeling of um, the, the suit is on fire. It's the flaming coming out of the body. The, that's what the clear part does it to me. And I personally think this is a really good customization from the side story as well. Alright, but uh, I will talk more detail later. But you know, first just look at this gun plot. So this is the front, this is the back. And uh, before I go on to any information, I need to say one thing. Uh, the wings do have a problem. Uh, the wings is if you overplay too much, uh, the suit will start losing the balance. So be sure you need to uh, kind of separate out the wings for the mobile suit to stand. Just a little note there. All right, back to topic. So now I'm gonna start talking about the movement. So, so head. Uh, it's twistable, it's 360, no problem. You just need to push it a little hard, be careful. Uh, there's a side, uh, side armor on the shoulder, which can be movable as well. The shoulder itself is a, the shoulder itself is a whole individual piece could move. Um, the arms is uh, very bendable, actually, it's very bendable. And the arms is twistable as well. Same as on the hands. The shoulder can, could, um, yeah, there's another thing. Shoulder couldn't do 360 during you need to adjust the wing, so if you if you uh, over move too much, it would just happen like that. So what happened just then is the part fell off. So the waist is a 360 fully movable waist, and it can go front, front, back, front, back as well. Next, we got the side armor. It is, uh, if I take off the hands, the side armor couldn't really move too much because of the uh, of the the joint is not available to do that. But also, I just need to say though how easy the wing gun uh, joints easy to fell off from the shoulders. So the shoulders get, did, could uh, could like move to the front for a little bit, but as you can see, it's really easy to fell off. So I'm not going to over move it. Um, next, we have the front skirt is movable. You can see the joints in there, and then we got a really extremely bendable legs, and also. The front tip of the legs is fully bendable as well. So sorry about that. I came back now. So and also as well, the back of the wings is uh is movable side by side and movable like side as well like this. And if and the wings could be extended, and then you can unlock and and jo another joint which can go up and down as well. It's a really good design. I really think though, it's a really good design. I'm liking it. And okay, before I show you any transformation, I'm just gonna need to show you some accessories. So first, they did give you a twin bust arrival. It can, it's separatable. Yes, it's separatable. Separatable. You can hit hold on each other hand, or there's a there's a joint in here. Then you can uh, put it back together. Like, okay, sorry, like this. It's put about. You can put back together. And next, we have a shield. We have a shield. Uh, is a pretty much a different shield than the wing original wing zero. It it added a little bit more like um added more like a it's like a bird head for me. It kind of looks like bird head for me in the neo bird mode, which is a flight mode. And I ext and uh other than that, they only have a clear piece, a red part, a, a little sticker here, the white part, and the beam sabers in there as well. Next, they do they don't so this kit don't have any other hand option like the other kids, but it does give you two beam savers. I cut off one of them, so for later I can just uh, shoot some photos. But uh, this, this this kit did give you two pieces of um, beam savers. So I think that would be pretty fair, because if you lose one, you have a second one for the backup. Yes. All right, so next we also have another accessory. It's the back sword. As you can see, there's two short handle here, but I'm not gonna take it off because put it, put it back on is really annoying for me. So. Just a just a fact you can take it off and then you can put it on, on the Wing Zero's hands. Yes. So next I'm gonna show you the transformation. Transformation. So first, what you need to do, you need to move up both shoulder pieces. Both shoulder pieces armor moved up like this. Next you need to you need to turn the head 180. Be careful don't break the be careful don't break the line. Next you need to twist the whole waist back here. And also next Next, you need to move down the shoulders like this. As you can see, move down the shoulders like this. And then now you need to push the legs 
like this and now you just need to slightly tilt it become like this slightly tilt it so now it should become like this not sure why my camera wasn't focusing but you know that's okay next you need to open up both wings be careful don't open it don't push it too hard because if you push it too hard the joint will fall out and then you have to put it back again and now what you have to do you just put it planting it flat like this okay I uh, okay sorry about that so now it's transformed it's fully transformed it's fully transformed now so now you got the wings deployed you got the wings deployed now like this and next what you need to do is you need to separate the guns like this I remember um, which way was it I don't really remember actually um, okay so the right so the right one oh sorry so the right one as you can see there's a there's a there's a there's a joint here under the wings you just need to snap it on and there you go is it is it this one is it this one snapping no I'm not really sure actually um, yep that's right um, so this one so let me just snap it on first so remember you need to shove the handle as well you need to close the handle before you put it on just a little note so now other one so now it should so it's mostly done for the bird mold next you know what you have to do you need to pull out the parts you need to pull out the part at the back and now what you have to do you just need to flip it around uh, where was the other one? Oh. so now I flipped the joint now what I have to do there's two there's a two joint here you, you, you do it with the two joint here and you just gently push it yep I kind of break it sorry just give me a second I kind of break stuff so now that's the full transformation completed that's the full transformation completed as you can see it's pretty good and I kind of need to say though this design reminds me of the Phoenix and the Flames because I can imagine that this suit going high speed mode and they have the all the particles flame coming out and it looks like a phoenix with flames and I really like the design though actually really think this is a good customization as you can see it does have the fire shape on the wings as well which gives us an idea and out of the phoenix as well all right I'm gonna wrap it up so really good design I like it basically I need to say though this is the coolest customization I seen from wing because we have a lot of wing and them customization this one is my favorite because it has a strong Phoenix feeling and it has the red is really special and for me I should probably give a little opinion is I hope and I actually make this series become an anime because I would like to see how this suit rushing in full flame mode that would be very cool and you know, I definitely say this kit is worth to buy it, and it doesn't take me long to build. Uh, the only if you gonna need to say the only annoying part is the wings. Other than that, um, other than that, I have nothing. I ha I have no comments about this suit. It's really good. I liking it, and I will recommend you to buy it as well. So you know, this is the end of this couple of review, and hope you guys like this video. If you like my video, drop a like on my videos, and subscribe to my channel as well. And I will see you next time with another Gunplot review. Goodbye.